Land Rover Range Rover Sport The Land Rover Range Rover Sport is a luxurious offering that you won't hesitate to take off-road. It comes with a lot of stuff that makes it a formidable competitor in a segment that is dominated by the likes of the three Germans. You get stuff like air suspension as standard. There are tens of exterior and interior color options, and an insane amount of engine options, too. The automaker has introduced a new SVR Carbon Edition that one-ups the standard SVR. It comes with the most powerful V8 seen in a Land Rover to date. But, does it have enough for people to choose it over the Audis and BMWs? Land Rover Range Rover Sport Exterior The Range Rover Sport looks butch, muscular, and modern from all angles. It features a symmetrical setup up front, with sweet headlights sitting on either side of a honeycomb mesh grille. A 2-4 LED headlight setup comes as standard, but you can opt for a 5-2 LED matrix setup, or a 1-4-4 LED pixel setup. The signature Land Rover and Range Rover brandings are prominent. When viewed from the side you get to know how big the Range Rover Sport actually is. The overhangs aren't proportionate, with the rear one more than the front, a classic Land Rover trait. The SUV comes with the option for 21 and 22 inch wheels that can be had with a silver, diamond turned, or gloss black finish. Most of them look pretty funky and go well with the SUV's demeanor. The taillights feel out of place with the weird design, but it will please you if you don't mind a little funkiness. Land Rover has added 8 new exterior shades this time. Some of them are tourmaline brown, amethyst gray purple, petrolix blue, lantau bronze, and hakuba silver. Land Rover Range Rover Sport Interior There are a ton of themes offered on the Range Rover Sport. If you like customizing the vehicle as per your specs, this is a paradise. You can opt for color combinations like ebony, 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 ivory, ebony, pimento, ebony, eclipse, etc. There's luxurious semi-aniline leather, grained leather, perforated Windsor leather, and so on that you can choose from. Behind the chunky steering wheel is a 12-inch digital driver's display that displays everything drive-related and can be customized to show phone, navigation, and media information as well. You can also opt for the head-up display which projects a 10-inch view of the vehicle speed and navigation on the windshield. In terms of technology, the Range Rover Sport is pretty strong. It comes with a set of two 10-inch touchscreens placed on the center console. The lower one is used for climate controls, drive adjustments like suspension height, etc. It supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There are knobs and dials to add to the convenience. The upper screen is for navigation, media, etc. primarily. But, in case you choose to use this only for, say, navigation, you can move the other things like media details to the lower screen with a single touch. The rear seats come with 10-inch entertainment screens of their own, too. Not to mention, there are many USB, HDMI, and 12 volts ports all around the cabin. 4G Wi-Fi hotspot connection for up to 8 devices is also available. As for the sound system, depending on the trim, you can get either a 12, 18, or a 22 speaker setup. All the sound systems are by Meridian. Land Rover Range Rover Sport Drivetrain the automaker offers the Range Rover Sport with multiple engine options. There are diesel, gasoline, V8, mild hybrid, and plug-in hybrid options to choose from. Range Rover Sport can be had with a 3.0-liter, six-cylinder diesel engine under the hood. This engine is offered in three different states of tune and all of them are paired to a mild hybrid technology. The D250 makes 246 horses and 443 pound-feet of torque. The D300 produces 296 horses and 479 pound-feet of twist. The new D350, on the other hand, dishes out 345 ponies and 516 pound-feet of twist. All the engines are mated to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. There are two different petrol mills on offer. One is a 2.0-liter, 4-cylinder engine that generates 296 horses and 295 pound-feet of torque and it is called P300. The other one is a 3.0-liter, 6-cylinder petrol mill. Land Rovers offers it in two different states of tune. 
In the lower P360 tune, it doles out 355 horses and 365 pound-feet of twist. In the P400 tune, it makes 395 ponies and 406 pound-feet of torque. The Range Rover Sport can be had with a plug-in hybrid system, too. Called the P400E, it makes use of the 2.0-liter, 4-cylinder mill and a 141-horsepower electric motor. Together, they churn out 398 ponies and 472 pound-feet of twist. A 13.1 kWh battery pack is routed to the system that stores the energy and helps deliver an electric-only range of 26 miles. The battery takes 7.5 hours to charge completely when plugged into a household connection, and 2 hours 45 minutes when using an AC wall box. The 5.0-liter engine is a supercharged V8 that is offered in two different iterations. In the standard Avatar, it dishes out 518 horses and 461 pound-feet of torque. In the SVR, however, it is much more powerful. It makes 567 horses and 516 pound-feet of torque. With all the power, the Sport in the SVR can sprint to 60 miles per hour from a standstill in just 4.3 seconds. It has a top speed of 176 miles per hour. Irrespective of which engine option you choose, you will get an 8-speed automatic gearbox as your default and only option. All the Range Rover Sport models come with an air suspension system. The minute you touch 65 miles per hour, the vehicle lowers by 0.6 inches to reduce drag. There is an access height function which drops the SUV by 2 inches to help you load stuff into it. There are two off-road height settings also. In the first setting, you can raise it by up to 1.4 inches, and in the second setting, 2.6 inches. All the settings, apart from the default, have speed limitations. Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR Carbon Edition The 2021 Land Rover Range Rover Sport is offered with a new SVR Carbon Edition. In a nutshell, it comes with Carbon fiber inserts on the hood, front bumper, grille, mirror covers, and tailgate. 22-inch 5-split spoke lightweight wheels SVR branding on the outside SVR branded steering wheel SVR performance seats wrapped in Windsor leather illuminated SVR Carbon Edition Treadplates 19-speaker Meridian surround sound system. It is powered by a 5.0-liter supercharged V8 engine that makes 567 horses and 516 pound-feet of torque. Power is sent to the wheels via an 8-speed automatic gearbox. With all the power, the SUV can sprint to 60 miles per hour from a standstill in just 4.3 seconds. It has a top speed of 176 miles per hour. Land Rover Range Rover Sport Pricing The Land Rover Range Rover Sport starts at $69,500 and goes all the way up to $115,500. Land Rover Range Rover Sport Competition Mercedes-Benz GLS The GLS isn't as wacky as the Q8 or the Range Rover Sport, but still doesn't look out of place. It comes with a pair of 12.3-inch screens housed together, one acting as an instrument cluster, and the other, an infotainment system. It supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and navigation as well. It is powered by a 3.0-liter, V6 engine that makes 362 horses and 369 pound-feet of torque. The other one is a 4.0-liter, V8 that dishes out 483 horses and 516 pound-feet of twist. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLS starts at $76,000. Read our full review on the Mercedes-Benz GLS Audi Q8. The Q8 is Audi's flagship SUV and comes with a whole lot of features inside out. There's a 12.3-inch instrument cluster behind the steering wheel that Audi calls the virtual cockpit. There's a 10.1-inch touchscreen on the center console and an 8.6-inch screen below it, similar to the Range Rover Sports setup. It is powered by a 3.0-liter, turbocharged V6 mil that makes 335 ponies and 369 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission and Quattro all-wheel drive system. The 2021 Audi Q8 starts at $68,200.
Read our full review on the Audi Q8. Land Rover Range Rover Sport Drive Assistance Features The Land Rover Range Rover Sport comes with a whole lot of driver assistance system. You get stuff like lane departure warning, autonomous emergency braking, cruise control as standard. The automaker has segregated the others into bundles and offers them as packages. Here's what all they include. Drive Pack Blind Spot Monitor Adaptive Speed Limiter and Driver Condition Monitor, Traffic Sign Recognition Drive Pro Pack High Speed Emergency Braking Blind Spot Assist Lane Keep Assist Traffic Sign Recognition Adaptive Speed Limiter Driver Condition Monitor Adaptive Cruise Control with Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control with Steering Assist Driver Assist Pack Park Pack 360 degree parking aid rear traffic monitor clear exit monitor park assist with park pro pack love it looks great plethora of engine options customizers paradise leave it top trim gets very expensive if you liked this video please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button